by a would-be assassin in Dallas, Texas. The Department of Defense has just issued a, a new list of uh, extremists that should be watched. And on that, in fact, number one, hmm, past the Muslim Brotherhood and past Hamas, Hezbollah, number one, evangelical Christians. We're witnessing a slow and steady takeover of our true freedoms. We're becoming a socialist nation. Now we see the government taking over banks. We see the government taking over, uh, over car companies, insurance. We're being told what cars we can drive, what, uh, uh, how much we can make. And now they want to take control of our health care and tell us what doctors we can see and what treatments we can have. Who is our government serving, us or global elites? It's a good question. They must know that there are a lot of Americans who feel targeted by the ERS, or you've got Brian Terry's mother or Sean Smith's mother, is why would they think that was okay or smart to do? H.W. Bush using the first Persian Gulf War as a stepping stone for a new world order. Americans are, are smarter than what the, the lamestream media is giving them credit for. They're doing their own homework and they're figuring out the hypocrisy and the lies coming from this government. Because for a new world order. At, at this hour, we're being, uh, the American people are being forced to do something they, want, they don't want to do. It feels like there's a greater sense of urgency to, to, to get to that one world government. Do you think? Term phony scandal. It's like Jonah Goldberg asked this morning, which one does he consider phony? Would it be Benghazi, where 200 plus years of honorable military ethos was thrown out the window when we left our own behind to be slaughtered by radical Muslims? And, uh, you know, does he consider uh, it a phony scandal when we understand now that our government spies on us and then government lies to us? Which one does he consider specifically as a phony scandal? The Federal Reserve, would be even the one EPA are sending billions of dollars overseas. Yeah, well, it, again, I say it, it is all coordinated. These aren't coincidences. The terms that they're using and the distractions and diversions that they're kind of shoving down our throats right now. And The loss of sovereignty is something very serious, and we need to keep, keep an eye on it. At issue is a Florida college professor who suggested on his blog that the massacre of 20 children and six adults may all have been staged. Welcome to Hannity tonight, even though the Democrat-controlled Senate is taking unprecedented steps to try and limit your Second Amendment rights, House Republicans are vowing to fight for law-abiding gun owners. Now, It's the first family tree of its kind, pouring through more than half a million names for months. 12-year-old Bridge Ann D'Avignon discovered that all the U.S. presidents, except Martin Van Buren, are related to the former King of England. John Lackland Plantagenet, signer of the Magna Carta in 1215. For the third time today, it's reminiscent of those pictures we've all seen too much on television before when a building was deliberately destroyed by well-placed dynamite to knock it down. Can you give us any better idea of how much of the plane actually impacted the building? You know, it, it, it might have appeared that way, but from my close-up inspection, uh, there's no evidence of a plane having crashed anywhere near the Pentagon. That I wanted to debunk these FEMA camps. I'm mm -hmm. tired of hearing. You know about them? Sure. I'm tired of hearing. I wanted to debunk them. Well, we've now for several days done research on them. I can't debunk them differences between John Kerry and George W. Bush. Uh, but we've discovered they do have something in common. During their respective college days at Yale, they both belong to a group called Skull and Bones. You were both in Skull and Bones, the secret society. It's so secret we can't talk about it. What does that mean for America? The conspiracy theorists are going to go watch. I'm sure they are. I don't know. I haven't seen the web. Number 322. <laughs> do not reform Medicare and Social Security. The U.S.
lies coming from the Obama administration. The hypocrisy and the lies.